Hi, this is Rich. I just wanted to explain some basics about uh, lawnmower maintenance and what you can do at home with just some basic tools to troubleshoot your lawnmower and why it may not be working. So what I got, I just grabbed uh, some basics from uh, my shop here. What most people have at home, I think, is a pair of pliers and then just the regular screwdriver. I've also got like a towel or you can use a bungee cord here in a minute. I'll get to it. So the three things that we're going to be looking for, what you're going to look for uh, if your lawnmower is not running, um, and what I would look for uh, when I get any mower, you know, there are three things, always three things, top priority. The top three things are always, is it, you want to ask yourself, is it getting ignition, spark to, which means spark to the spark plug, is it getting compression, and is it getting the proper air fuel ratio mixture? Okay, so let's start off with, is it getting proper fuel? Is it even getting fuel? Okay, so sometimes it might be getting too much fuel. Sometimes it's not getting in, getting any at all. Okay, so one thing we can look at over here, come around here so we can take a look at this air cleaner. Here's a pretty common lawnmower that has, here's where the air cleaner is located. And it's right in this compartment. And if this air cleaner is all clogged up and covered with uh, maybe a, a mouse got in there or something like that, there will be debris in here and it might be clogging up the air filter causing it to have an excessively rich or way more fuel than it needs to. It's dumping more fuel, dumping more fuel into the engine to cause a, a following the spark plug condition so it won't run like that. Okay, so that's part of the air fuel mixture requirement is checking your air cleaner, making sure it's not all clogged up. Also along that same line uh, is is your uh, oil, is your oil way too overfilled? Now, if we can go over here on this side, and this actually goes into the uh, air fuel, or is it getting proper fuel, air fuel mixture. Here is where the fuel maximum uh, limit is here for uh, filling it up. If it's like, much more above that or twice above that mark that is going to cause a problem with your air filter and it's going to feed oil back up through your intake system and clog this air filter up once again causing an extremely rich fuel situation that will foul the spark plugs and cause it not to run okay so that is the basically getting when you're getting too much fuel okay now if you come around here you want to also look for if is there a fuel shutoff valve in between the fuel tank and the carburetor underneath here behind this plate here where the air goes in where the air filter goes in there is the carburetor and you'll see a fuel line always from from the tank to the fuel carburetor back there, there's a line. So you wanna make sure if you have a fuel cutoff valve right there that it is open. And usually if it's, if this is crossing the line perpendicular like that, that's usually the off position and that would be the on position and it, and it actually would tell you most times. Okay, it tells you right there, actually, see? Yeah. So, you wanna make sure the fuel's on, okay? And that it's flowing. Also, check and make sure that you have gas. Okay, you wanna look in there and make sure that you have gas, okay? That's always a big deal. Uh, well, not always, but more, a lot of times, it's just people don't have gas in it. Okay, let's go over to this lawnmower. Here's a... Uh, Here's where the intake is located on this lawnmower. The intake and the air filter. This is the same air filter. These are very common. It goes in here. So um, 
an easy way to uh, get that out is just one screw right here. You know, you loosen it, this little door opens, and then you have that filter that slides right out of there. And this, this rubber part goes toward the engine side, okay? All right, so that's fuel, okay? Is it getting fuel? Is it getting too much? And um, so we went over that fuel. Now, how about ignition? Now, on ignition, come over here a little bit and go down here. You want to look back up a little bit so you can see me a little and get this in here also. All right, so you want to take a look and see on the end of your engine here. Here's the back of your engine. Back of your engine here. See where all these electrical, see where these wires are coming out here. Wires coming out on this one here. Pretty much the same thing here. And what you want to do is go ahead and when we're checking for ignition, you could use a spark tester like I have here. I've had this for over 30 years, but you probably won't have one of these laying around. So what you can do is <clears throat> take off your spark plug wire, okay? And then you want to take your, if you got a big deep well screwdriver, that's great. But here is something you can use with pliers and just get in here if you can and try to, you don't really want to grab on this. <clears throat> porcelain okay because these will these are really hard and brittle and they'll break so you don't want to grab that with a uh, <clears throat> with your pliers if you can help it so I'm gonna try not to do that I want to grab down there on the silver part if I can so in this case I'm not really going to be able to grab it with a pair of pliers okay so that's kind of tough <clears throat> now if you have one that's more accessible and you can get a wrench around it like here, let's try this one. Okay. You want to go ahead and take the wire off, put it to the side, grab it with your pliers, grab the spark plug around the, the heavy metal flattened parts there. Don't grab it on the porcelain part of the screwdriver and then just go ahead and take it out. This is going to make it much easier to, when you're pulling the pull cord, to uh, pull it and it'll rev really fast and now what you want to do when you have it like that you want to go ahead and take your pliers with a an insulated you have to have insulated handles for this it and just to ensure you're not going to get shocked and grab it grab the wire right there kind of loosely but firm and hold the metal part of the spark plug against the block now you're going to need an assistant for this part. And what they're going to have to do is, let's go over here to this lawnmower. That's what this towel is here for. You can take and wrap this around here or have an assistant. Go ahead and pull, the, to pull this handle down. Okay, because this is going to make you, this makes the electrical switch. This is the electrical kill switch. Okay, that stops the motor from running. It just takes spark and it grounds it, sends it to ground so it won't run anymore. So you either, if you're by yourself, you have to wrap the uh, handle, the kill handle like this, and then pull it a few times. And you're going to have to look for blue spark in that, on that spark plug electrode. So when you have, but if you have an assistant, you can have them pull this a few times and then come over here. What you're going to be looking for while you're holding it against the engine block is right in there. If you could see that little electrode right there, there's a gap. You should be seeing a blue, crisp blue spark right within that gap. If you don't see it, then you have your electrical power going to ground somewhere. It's grounding out. It means you're not getting electricity, you're not getting spark to the spark plug. But you remember, while you're holding this, or if you can find a place just to rest it where it'll stay on the block without having to hold it, that's even better. But this just keeps it in place, and uh, you're not going to get shocked. Make sure your handle's insulated, and if you're grabbing it by this rubber part of the spark plug wire, you should be okay. But just in case, try to have insulated plier handles.
Okay, so you're going to be looking for spark there. If you don't have it, that's other issues that I'm not going to get into right there. It could be because you had uh, maybe a sudden stoppage, you ran over a stump, or you hit a big uh, piece of concrete or something like that, and all of a sudden the motor stops. That could be something now with a flywheel key that shears. That's a best case scenario, and that throws the timing of the flywheel off as the as the engine spins it's not sending the proper spark or maybe now none at all to the spark plug and that could be a simple fix but it does take some disassembly for removing the flywheel and uh, replacing the flywheel key that might be sheared worst case scenario you totally bent the crankshaft or the uh or the uh, pinion uh piston uh push rod and uh, that's bad so that means the motors probably toast but uh, so that's spark so we covered uh, is it getting fuel or not is it getting spark and then what's left compression okay so we can also on compression we need to go ahead and take off the spark plug like we did and compression will be the last thing that we check here and what you can do is now take this spark plug just out and put the wire to the side there and put the spark plug someplace what you want to do make sure the spark plug wire is away from you while you're doing this because it will be live all right but it, it'll be you'll be okay um, if you put it to the side and then you're going to go ahead and put your finger over the hole. Don't, if your finger is small enough to get it down in the hole, don't do that. You want to press your finger up against the hole, flat up against the hole so it seals. And then you're going to have your assistant pull on the starter rope a few times while you're feeling with your finger. Create, that, create the seal with your finger around the open spark plug hole and then when your assistant is pulling it you're gonna feel it going psh, 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 against your finger that tells you at least something okay you should have some back pressure should be pushing your finger off there pretty good if it's not pushing your finger off there at all you don't have, feel any compression you got some what may be some pretty serious internal engine problems it may just be a simple valve adjustment but that it that is something we got to further diagnose once you get it here but those are the those are the basic things so we covered the fuel delivery is it getting too much fuel is it not getting enough fuel is it getting no fuel is it getting spark so we got to check the spark plug and see if it's sparking and then is it getting compression with the spark plug out put your finger over the spark plug hole while you have an assistant pull the starter string to see if you're getting compression Remember, you got to have all three of these things for your engine to even run. Fuel, spark, compression. If this doesn't fix you, go ahead and give me a call and we'll get you fixed up. Have a good day.